So I took a couple of minutes. I uh, went to stretch my legs, got myself uh, another drink um, before sitting down and having a bit of time to kind of process this. So this soldier, we, we don't know his name, a, has come to the facility here to do, you know, whatever it is, probably official business. However, he's lost the car key. And the only place he can think he could have possibly dropped it in all of the surroundings around us of all of the dinosaurs and carnage across 65 million years is this one spot. Now, just ignoring the obvious logic gap that kind of uh, is here and just the suspension of disbelief that's required for this, I cannot really gloss over my tendency to not like this sort of thing as a game mechanic because generally when games do this and they have uh they kind of go to send you to do things to kind of fill time for no real reason it's generally because they didn't really have anything else to put in and that generally means that the game i don't want to say this is a bad game i don't think this is a bad game but i can't particularly defend this and uh, we're going to have a quick bit of a chat about it um, on the way back as well. I have a few things else to suggest on that matter. Anyways, good thing I chose to read that vid this at the end of the last video. We need to now get back uh, to the boat to go back to the jungle. Uh, so at least it was only the springs. It could have been significantly further. It could have been the research facility. It could have been the military facility. At least it's only the spring. But, you know, having come all the way back here... Just to find that out and then leave is obnoxious. Now, th this, let's go to some context here. This is the year 2000, right? So, Capcom have been doing these sort of games for a while, you know, this sort of uh, reasonable genre. But even, like, in games, you know, with, like, Resident Evil, that hurt. That really hurt. We need to heal. Even with games like uh, Resident Evil. I mean, this is the best um, way to describe Because I'm sure some of you guys will say, well, hey, look. Capcom, survival horror. Survival horror games, there's always backtracking. And you know what? To an extent, you're right. But there's a difference. Let's take uh, Resident Evil 1. Let's start with at the base. Yeah, Resident Evil 1, the original Resident Evil. Now, you obviously start at the uh, the Spencer Estate. And then you eventually head back, uh, go on like to the Residence, do the underground stuff. And eventually, you have to go back to uh, the mansion again, uh, which is, yes, immediately retreading old ground. However, there's some significant differences. First off, you've already covered most of the mansion. You're going back with a key to cover the areas that you hadn't explored. And on top of that, the areas have now at least changed. In the fact, there's now uh, there's en new enemies around, the music's kind of different. Backtracking, yes, I will uh, admit that, but it's not... Um, it's nothing too, too gross. Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2 actually did have very little in the way of any kind of, uh, of, um... Man, we're just fucking playing ways with these guys. Uh, Resident Evil didn't have very much in the way of backtracking. Um, Resident Evil 3. Now, obviously, you do go through, uh, the city. Uh, downtown and uptown. And then eventually you do, um, head back upon yourself. But again, a lot of that, some of it is needed for the story. I'm um, heading back to get the items for the tram. And some of it is, uh, you know, optional. Oh, this room. I'm so glad I upgraded the SSMGs. That was an inspired choice. You know, and like I say, you got to head a little way back into the city in order to, uh, in order to do, um, to collect the few key items you need to leave to the church. But, you can head even further back into the city if you want. And there are goodies for you if you wish to do so. But at least it's optional. At least you don't have to do it. It's a choice you can make. I just... It's a bug of mine, you know. And I say, games... This games used to do this from time to time back in the day. They don't do it very much now. Because people kind of see it and realise that it's not a great game mechanic. Um, but yeah, it's... um. Not ideal uh, when games kind of do this sort of thing. We are going to need some more ammo for these because, my goodness me, I'm running through this stuff. You know what, let's just max it out. 
and call it a day. Good stuff. But yeah, it's just, um, you know, why, why, unless, in my opinion, and I'll end it here, unless the game has to, like, you know, it sends you and then backtracks you to a previous area, um, even with Resident Evil 4, you kind of go back, you go through the village, and you kind of go back through the village again, which there is some old ground you retread, but again, at least things are kind of a bit different. This is just a case of go to this place, and then go back to where you came from to get the key to come back to here to proceed. It's just it's just busy work. It's just busy work. And now we're going to have to go across here again and probably have to do this whole shooting stuff again, I imagine. Oh, no? Okay, so that's that's not so bad. If, I've, if we're going to have to go through the whole shooting, shooting section again, that was going to annoy me. But I guess it is what it is, folks. I guess it is what it is. But yeah, so unless it's something, uh, or something, unless it's something that either is plot specific in that you need to go back to a particular area because of a specific plot reason, is something that is optional for you to do, but you don't actually have to do it. Or, uh, you know, something along those lines. Just, these mechanics are never good. It's just never good. And just kind of doing this backtracking for no reason. It's just, it's just a pain in the ass. Oh, well. We're here now, folks. We're here. So let's find where the hell this key card might be. Somewhere in these springs somewhere. Here we are. Must end up here with the current. Great. Thank you. Again, not a uh, not particular fan of that. But yeah, I mean, if the game could have made it worse. If the game had sent us like, to the research facility, I'd have been very, very gross. I won't let that detract too much from this game, but uh, I will remember this slight. <laughs> I will remember it. down here. I guess that was the machine gun that uh, Fingin was using. Why do I keep thinking that's the door? It does look like a door, doesn't it? It's not just me, right? Alright then, so uh, back to the facility. Yeah, I was thinking, like, every time we transfer across water, we're going to have to get into those fights, and I was not, not envying that. Okay, so back this way we go. I should, uh, probably, probably re-equip those. I mean, Reginald does wield these machine guns like a badass, it must be stated. So, uh, props to Reginald for that. Full marks. Ow. Also, these things, I reckon this could be quite a good place if you need to grind points. This doesn't look too bad a place to grind points against these things. I think you need something a little bit more powerful to reliably do it. Oh, shit. But I reckon... Oh, I reckon with, like, a really powerful, like, machine gun or something like that, I think you could, uh, you could do some, uh, some, some heavy point grinding here, I reckon. Oh, God. I mean, at 400 points each, which is not too bad, you know, if you could chain them well... Could do all right here. Could do all right. All right. Damn Leave me alone. Oh, dodged him. That was that was. Ah, oh, really? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Why did that bleed me? 
He just picked me up. That was all. Makes a sense. Whatever. Let's uh, use our delicious large med kit. I'm glad I brought one. I probably should have grabbed some more health before coming here, but well. Decisions were made. Decisions were made. Oh boy. Let's just use the. Oh, I'm pressing triangle to access my menu, which is uh, not the right button. I have to press select, which is kind of weird. It's like normally the options menu. Are you fucking kidding me? I was off by like a fraction. I know that. Let me. Thank you. All right, let's just get going here. We don't have much in the way of health now, which is a problem. Hmm. It's a box of putting small repair tools. We need a key to open it, however. But that sounds like something that would be of uh, of use to us. If you meet a reading, zero. There's no need to operate it. Okay, so we need a key to access... Oh, boy. That's the wrong button, Shadow. You know you... You know you keep pressing the wrong button? There's a good example of pressing the wrong button. Oh, God. Yeah, imagine trying to do this with a handgun. Fuck that shit. To your hell. Wow, 10,000 points for that room? Damn. Does that really need to be, like, separated out like that? I think I'm getting... I, I think I'm, like, slightly bugged by what happened earlier, so I'm getting, like, nitpicky now. <laughs> I think. Key for the box. Okay, good. We got that. Also, a supply point. We should probably invest in all of this stuff. Okay. You know what? I'm, I don't want to run around with a hemostat, so we'll buy a large med kit, and we'll just run with that instead of a uh, hemostat. Some smalls as well. That looks good. Lovely. Anything else of any interest? There is... Manager's diary. Tomorrow afternoon, two mechanics are coming to this facility from Edward City. It is time for the annual maintenance check of the third energy reactor. This will be the ninth time. That's 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 a lot of checks. You'd you think if they have to check your thing nine times, that probably it's not safe. If something happens to the underwater reactor, that is when all lifelines will be cut off to us. Again, all we can do is to pray that nothing. You could just not do it. Never considered that. Now I'm getting all snarky and everything. Goodness me. See, this these these little mechanic things, they can they can trigger you sometimes. I'm so, it's just 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 full cat scroll screen, just triggered. <laughs> nah. Um, as uh, weird as it may sound, sometimes I feel that it will do us all a favor to be actually just blew up on us. You know? You know. Mechanics have not returned. They probably became their lunch. This is a problem. One of the mechanics, Bob, has the key to the entrance of Edward City. Ah. It's critical we get back the key. I guess there is no real choice but to get in the diving suit and go down myself. Diving suit, you say? Huh. Huh. Say it's electrical generation. They only have one generator to support the whole facility because that's um that's professional planning right there. You need to to use this elevator. You need to operate the control terminal. Yes, thank you. You need the mechanic's ID card in order to actually tr activate that. Okay. We certainly don't have that. Terminal, term out of energy generated. Probably where they're planning to distribute the power using the computer. Okay. 
And this allows us to go back to the first area. Let's see where this actually goes. I was looking for this doorway. Oh, it was a second... Oh, God. It was a second floor. Right. No wonder I couldn't get onto this. Just screams of pain. Oh, shit. Funny things. Stop trying to eat me. Ow. That was... That was painful. On a scale of one to painful, of one being one and painful being painful, that was uh, rather unpleasant. I need to check this soldier and get the hell out of here. An ID card. That's what I was looking for. The mechanic's ID. Good. Run! Run! Ooh. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Right. So, what have we got here? So, we got the ID card. And we got a key for the box. That, I assume, is for back on the boat, right? I assume that's for back on the boat. We Let's go to that first, before we head down this elevator. That seems... That seems intelligent. That's what a good player would do, right? Speaking of areas where I think you could actually get a sh quite a big load of chaining, this area seems pretty uh, potentially quite profitable. You might need to get that combo extension thing though, uh, that card, I reckon. But that, this could be of uh, could be a potential profit. Yes, I know. Why can't you just be like a normal game and just I have it and just do it? Why do I have to go into the menu to use it? Ah, well. Yep, files. Security code for the elevator um, in the under... Blah, blah, blah. Security code for the elevator to the underwater third energy reactor has been changed. It is now 1452. Okay, it's not so... That's good information to have. Man, it reminds me. You remember the first Dino Crisis and those uh, DDKs? The, um, like, the sort of uh, puzzles you had to kind of work out. Um, the, those code things, like, open up various doors and that sort of thing. Yeah. I gave those a lot of stick, but they weren't actually... They weren't actually that bad, I guess. Bloody hell, there's a lot of these dudes down in this water. Damn. It's not that big an area. Jeez. Oh, yeah. 12,000 points just for that. Oh, my goodness me. That is uh, that is how you get a shitload of points. Is that room right there, everyone? Put that down in the diaries. How much ammo have we got left for this? Plenty. You'll be fine. Yes. Uh, What was it? <laughs> I've forgotten the fucking... Oh, shit. One five four one. I've totally forgotten what the code was. Went in one ear and out the other. Oh, for the love of! Shake your head, everyone. Shake your head. One four five two. Okay, I just, I, I sort of was like, yep, I know, yeah, that's the code, good, and then just, just totally escaped me. Right, one, four, five, two. Good. We can now operate the elevator. Good times. This leads to an underwater facility. Sure. Sure. Doesn't look too crazy suspicious. 
probably a gigantic energy generator somewhere nearby. That always sounds fun. Yeah, we are underwater, everyone. Cool, cool. Hmm, files. We go over here. We have things. Terminal controls the power to all the machines in this room. Power's been shut due to the elevator uh, to the elevator end to the diving suit enclosure. Displayed on the screen is a program to restart the power. Sure! Reactivating main power. Please check computer until power is supplied to all devices. Warning. When power is overloaded, this reactivation process will be suspended. Uh... The power has been overloaded, suspending the reactivation process. Damn it. Yeah, I agree, Regina. I agree. Hmm. So something is triggering a problem with the machinery. Okay, then. We need to do something in order to get it to working correctly. Let's, uh, let's go have an inspection of that file. It might give us some more information as to what exactly is going on. And then we'll play around with the rest of this stuff. Ooh. There's a diving suit indeed. You need to resume power to take out the suit. To Bob. Only were placed in charge of this area. As a present for your new position, here is a memo, which may come in handy. Merry fucking Christmas. It's about restarting the power. When you try to station the power, uh, it often stops. It's due to the malfunctioning of the free control terminals. When you the program, it quickly overloads. But what, when that happens, all you need to do is just give it some kind of electric shock. Which should wake it up. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting to note... I've just realized this is a double-handed weapon. Because it's a double-handed weapon, I don't have access to my stun rod. I didn't realize that. Interesting to note. All right, what the hell is this? Uh, control panel which operates the oversized elevator. Fair enough. I love the, the logic here, though. Thing doesn't have enough power. Overload? Give it even more power. Give it, like, electric stuff. Good stuff. Reactivating main power. I guess I have to do this with these and just make sure they don't, uh... Yeah. And just do these until it fixes itself. Like a reflex puzzle. Uh oh. No! You motherfucker! No! Hooray! Main power reactivation restored. She's like, yes, I'm the greatest. Woohoo! Right then, so let us uh, play around with all these things. So that controls an elevator. I guess that takes this up and down. Let's look at this first. It stores the logs of the diving suit usage. It has been more than a year since it was last used. Oof. That's, um... That's concerning. I also didn't mean to recheck that a couple of times. You've got the diving suit. I, uh... I guess we're about to use this? It's equipped with a jet propulsion which enables you to jump. Ah, that sounds kind of kind of neat and spiffy. One thing we can't do at the moment, actually, is, is jump. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. 
Let me... Uh, let me just put a save state down so I don't do something bad here. Reginald aboard the diving suit to go down to the underwater facility. Great. Great. This is actually kind of cool. Yeah, we are we are legitimately under oh dear. Uh, yeah, this is this is this is bad times. Ugh. Nothing like being in a slow, bulky diving suit underwater with dinosaurs that do not like my presence. We have weapons, apparently. Okay, let's look these up. So we got a needle gun. Uh, basically, underwater weapon fires three needles simultaneously. It is unlimited ammo. That's always good. And our sub weapon is a shock wave. She's a wave of mobilize of sh of shock. Shoots a wave of shock, immobilizing underwater enemies tempor temporary. I think we better start using this. Bloody hell! Well, nothing pretty about that, everyone. Oh, I see. Yeah, not much range on it, but I suppose it doesn't need to be much range. Right then. So, let's... Uh, yeah, so that's broke. So that's not good. Something's blocking the way. Oh, God. No! Ah! You son of a bitch. Let's not hang around here, Regina. This is... This is bad times. Uh, yeah, so note that I didn't actually jump. I, I just came down here, so... I don't know what the jump mechanics are. I'm sure we'll discover in a bit. Yeah, we need to not be here. Uh, power supply. Power is being supplied normally. All right, let's keep heading down then. Let's see what on earth is blocking this up. How much? Yeah, this is actually kind of cool. You know, for for two thousand, this is pretty uh pretty spiffy. Let's use a small med kit. Yeah, how do you like that, you bastard? Be stunned. Right. I need to uh I need to check the options here. What is my jump button? Jet, which is underwater, is the triangle button. I suppose that's effectively jumping. Bloody hell! That is a thing, everyone! That is a thing! <laughs> you son of a bitch! Let's get in here. Alright. This is the uh, circulation control room. This looks important. Ugh. If you're claustrophobic, everyone. As always, we'll conduct the preventive maintenance by assigning labor tasks. Uh, Bob will be in charge of food energy reactor. Alec will be in charge of checking the water circulation. Previous years for the safety of the mechanics, due maintenance works. Make sure to close the shutters for the cooling aqueducts. Alec will unplug the unplug the plug, which allows control of the shutters and keeping it until Bob is done checking the reactor. That's... Hmm. Sounds like a problem. Control terminal for operating the aqueduct shutters, which lead to the third energy generator. Sure! You need the shutter control plug, which we most certainly do not currently possess. I'm actually not totally against this whole uh, kind of 
wavy sort of um, sort of water effect. It's not too bad. I think it's a better effect than uh, that kind of weird blending for cutscenes. Music's pretty good too, actually. Oh, bollocks. Aha! Be stunned, you fuckers. Yeah, we need to not hang about. Yeah, stun and then shoot. That's the way forward, Shadow. Oh, God. I am, uh... Yeah, this is not a good situation. This is most definitely their, uh... Their territory. Oh, God. Please get up. Because they just, like, swarm me. Okay, he's dead. That's good. Let's get up. Let's get over this. Stop that. No! He's gonna hit me! That's so rude. He's just like following in behind me. Couldn't do anything about it. Man. Yeah, these things, these things are not nice. Should I heal? Do I have another small kit? I don't. I'm going to be stubborn. Right, I can't just jump straight up there. I will need to... Uh... Shit. Yeah, for sure. Way forward is to stun them first, and then uh, and then uh, hit, then shoot afterwards. Uh, control terminal seems to be working normally. No need to operate it. Ooh, that was close. I didn't mean to do that. It does interestingly mean there is effectively like a, an extra dimension you have to bear in mind with all of the uh, traversing. Because you can jump and stuff. Which is something I should probably be making uh, more use out of. I want to say it looks empty in here and safe, but that's probably a uh, probably a terrible thing to suggest. I need to get up there, don't I? Oh, shit. Oh. Damn. I think that was the control plug we were looking for, everyone, so uh, I, need to, I need to get up here. Oh, shit. I don't think I can. Hmm. At least not like that. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't know how that works, but whatever. There must be another way up that I just haven't quite found yet. I have to, like, jump off of something, maybe? Could there be some actual platforming in this game? Possible. I uh, I do not want to be down here any longer than I need to be. Ooh, that was close. What? Oh shit! Now there's more than one. This could be some GG action right here. Bloody hell! This is uh, this is all kinds of not fun. Healing supplies, not looking too hot. Ooh, does this still work? Oh, thank God it does. The aqua grenade. Hmm. That sounds, uh, that sounds fun. Let's, uh, buy up some more healing items first. Uh, I don't need that right now. And I will most likely... I'm just going to heal and buy another one and call that a day. 
Don't know why you did that one. It's all just shifts up. All right then. So let's buy another one. There we go. Keep the large for uh, emergency situations. <laughs> I love the reused elevator a um, asset here. That's always cool. Where the hell does this lead? I don't even know. Shut up to close the waterways. Hear a low sound of the machines. So we ain't going to be able to progress this way unless we uh, do something about that. But that's fine. It looks like what we need to do is go back to the room we're in. And it looks like we need to kind of like climb up. There was like, a, it looked like some boxes of some kind next to where we entered this uh, entered this room. And I guess we've got some uh, some small platforming action. Don't think we'll be doing that in this game. These things. This hopefully is not going to be too obnoxious. Nope. Shoot it, Regina! Keep stunning the fucker. It's not too bad. See, on their own, they're not terrible. In groups. <laughs> Funny. Oh, bollocks. No! Oh, I nearly fell off! Right. I don't think I want to go this way, do I? No, let's go back on myself. Which is R2. Why do I keep pressing L2? I still don't know why I keep pressing L2! It's so dangerous to use that stun attack here because it's so easy to just, um fly off the side because it pushes you back as well. So you have to use it with um, definite caution. All right, let's get up here. Oh my god. Okay. A section of the column has cracked, making it weak. I guess I need 10,000 more points then, eh? I guess I need another 10,000 points. I'm, uh, I'm gonna end this video here. Next time on, uh, Let's Play uh, Blind Iron Crisis 2, we're gonna get another 10,000 points. And then we are going to crack this down. Let's see, 600 a time, 600 plus 600 plus 600, it's going to take a few minutes. I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.